I'm not a big fan of the government censoring, but I'm not a big fan of Facebook censoring either. I don't particularly trust either of those entities to be involved with that. So once you have the critique, there's two things you can do. You can either try to fix it or you can try to reimagine it. So let me give you two examples. If the problem is toxic speech online, a great fix for this is what Tracy Chow is doing with Block Party, right? She's built a whole company around adding features to Twitter that Twitter, frankly, should have. They let you do things like share block lists and block hundreds of people at a time. You can block people just because they liked or retweeted the hateful tweet about what a terrible person you are. Because you can sort of say, you know, frankly, I don't want to engage with that person. I want to control my own space. So that's a fix, right? And Twitter gets some credit. They maintain an ecosystem where she can come in as a third-party developer and build that fix. Facebook won't let her do that. Facebook will go ahead and send a cease and desist if she tries to do that. Reimagining looks at this and says, wait a second, why are we trying to have a conversation in a space that's linking 300 million people? Maybe this isn't where I want to have my conversation. And you know what? I don't actually want my conversation moderated by poorly paid people in the Philippines who are flipping through a three-ring binder to figure out if speech is acceptable, what if we built social media around communities of people who want to interact with one another and want to take responsibility for governing those spaces? Now, that is huge and a very, very different way of looking at it. But that's what I mean about the difference between fixing and reimagining. And I think we want to pursue both of them at the same time. 